serious. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this X and Y shake edit using Filmora 12. This edit is so easy to create, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys here I use 1 by 1 ratio with 60 fps, so you can use any resolution you like. And I added my starting clips here. Also I added some markers to match the beat, and these are the clips I used to create our shake edit. So first I need to match this clip length to these markers. So here I had Twixter clips. So I like to increase the little bit speed on these clips. So I go to the speed, and I adjust the speed like this. Okay, then I do the same thing for my second clip. So then I go to the video, and I change the scale to something 180, and adjust the position like this. After that I need to do the same thing for my other clips. Okay, now I adjusted my all other clips here. So now I like to add zoom out animation for this, so I select my first clip, and I go to the scale, then I change the scale to something 210, and create a keyframe, then go to the end of the clip, and I change it back to 180. Okay now it looks like this. So here I add zoom out animation for my all other clips. Okay now I need to add the shake effects. So first I like to create vertical shake effect. First go to the effects tab, select video effect, select shake, then select extreme effect, then I add it to the timeline. Then I take 6 frames long part of this layer like this. After that go to the effects settings, and I change the frequency to 0, and create a keyframe. Then I change position X to 0, and position Y to 1. Ok, then go to the middle of this layer, and I change the frequency to 400, then go to the end, and I change it back to 0. Ok, now it looks like this. So then I like to add horizontal shake to this part. So I go to the effects tab, select the sideway 2 effect, and add it to the timeline. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the frequency to 250, create a keyframe, and here I increase the position X value only, making sure to other position values to 0. Then go to the start, and I change frequency to 0, and go to the end, I change this again to 0. Ok guys here I add X and Y shake effects to my all other clips. So let's see how to create this soft glow effect. So first I add the adjustment layer. Then go to the effects tab, select video effects, then select the luma sharp, then I add it to this adjustment layer, then go to the effect settings, and I change the opacity to something 50. This effect gives a great sharp look to our edit, then go back to the effects tab, select new blue fx, select filters, then I select dream glow effect, and I add it to the adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the color to this cyan color, then I add some blur. And I keep the glow value to zero. After that I add another effect called diffusion. So I add it to this adjustment layer, then go to the effects settings, and I keep this color white, then change the blur to something 44, glow to 75, and ambiance to 75. Then I change the dim value to 100, and blend mode to screen. Then I adjust the blend value to something like 30. Ok now it gives a nice glow look, but here you can see it gives over glow look. So I split the adjustment layer, and readjust blend on this part. Ok now I adjusted the glow effect, I would like to add an overlay to this, so this is the overlay I use, so I add it to the timeline. Then go to the compositing, 
and I change the blend mode to overlay and change the opacity to something 80. Then I adjust the overlay scale like this. Okay guys now it looks like this. So guys our main part is done. So now I will show you the extra part about how to create this spinning card. So first we need to open the new project. And here you can see I already added empty card. Also I added some text to this. Then I added this fade 2 animation for these text layers. And here's what it looks like. After that I export this project and add it to my edit. So now we need to remove this black area. For that we need to add a mask to this, so I search shape mask on the effect tab, and I add it to my card layer. Then go to the effects settings, and I adjust the mask like this. So now I need to add spin animation. So go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select particles, then select BCC wildcards effect, and I add it to this layer. Then go to the effects settings, and select array. Then I change the number of cards X and Y to 1, and increase the scale a little bit. Then go to the wildcards, and change this to 1 card. Then you can spin this card using these settings. So I change the tumble value to minus 15.3, and I create my spin animation like this. Okay now it looks like this. After that I go to the animation. And I add up down two animations. Okay now our card animation is done. So finally I added some text animations, transitions, and a few glitch effects to complete this edit. So here's the results. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this, and please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.